Hi everyone. So in the last video I talked about the difficulty in spawning network objects um, from logic bricks when they need to be assigned to a connection. Uh, I've now implemented that in logic bricks and I've had to implement it in a certain way to ensure that if multiple connections happen at the same time we are able to handle it. So at the moment this doesn't give you any information about the controller or the connection that you're, you're assigning the network object to. Um, that information isn't available yet. So I may need to extend it into a more powerful logic brick thing later on, but for now you just get told that a client is connecting and it wants it needs a network object. So what you could do is you could use this to assign random teams by basically um, after three if there are six players supposed to connect, you can or even if there's not, you can alternate between um, one object and another. Uh, and therefore they get random objects of players. And with that, they could then assign their own teams. So, um, a quick reminder to those of you who are more familiar with this network system: um, player controllers are created by default for all connect all connections, and um, it's only the actual physical objects that you interact with ten typically in the Blender game engine. Um, so, that there isn't really uh, support for creating player controllers in even with empties because um, they don't have the a access to the, the component system that is required to make the BG interact with the network system. So that kind of information is only available to physical objects. And it, basically anything that inherits from the SCA actor template. So um, what I've done is it sent you receive a message called controller request. And controller request is basically a message that's sent from the rules on the server. Um, so this is why I put it in the server dispatcher state. Uh, which I can show you here. So if I go to the client, you see we've got the connection and the server has the rules and this particular logic here. So if I hide the rules for a second, we receive a controller request message which tells us that we want the, the uh, system would like to create a physical object for a connecting player. And then we send a message saying controller underscore assign underscore Suzanne. And that means that if we ex exclude this prefix, which is Oops, this prefix which is uh, chosen to indicate that we would like to tell it what to spawn um, we only look at this last bit here which is the Suzanne aspect so with that information the system will spawn a, a network object called Suzanne which in this case is our Suzanne here and so that will spawn as necessary so you can then leverage this as I've said if we go back to layer 1 to do dynamic spawning uh, and spawn in different physical player types. So you could, for example, um, have a different state, um, or you could have some properties. And I've tried to, as, as usual, um, avoid using Python controllers because they cut out the ability to do comparisons and so on. So this is run by a message uh, actuator. So that should fix that, uh, and hopefully that will give you some more control. So thank you for watching, and I'll keep you updated.